That's right, Carla. Well, you'll see this yellow tape right here blocking me from going any further. That's because there is a lot of structural damage behind the school at the kitchen. Now take a look at this video. You'll see refrigerators and freezers that have flown onto the ground. Food is scattered everywhere. There were even HVAC units that flew off of the kitchen roof onto the ground as well. The baseball field also received a lot of dam damage. Now a school district employee did tell me that more than likely students will not return to school for the remainder of the year as there are there are a lot of repairs and damage to the school building. But what we do know for sure is that there is no school tomorrow, whether that's in person learning or remote learning, and that's also includes elementary school students will also have no school tomorrow as there's just a lot of repairs and damage that this storm caused to the school building. Now once the sun comes up, crews will begin assessing more of the damage and begin the work to repair what's in the aftermath of this storm. For now, live in Fultondale, Bria Douglas, WVTM 13. Okay, thank you, Brian. We want to reiterate that those school closings are for today, for today, and there are several Jefferson County schools that are closed because of damage as well. And you can see them here and on the bottom of your screen. And this will apply to both traditional or remote students. And we also have more of those closures that are scrolling at the bottom of your screen.